Take the passenger side front wheel off. Use a 22 millimeter socket. Take the lug nuts off. Take the wheel off. Now I gotta reach my hand in here, in between on top of this bar, and I gotta reach around the power steering pump. And if you follow the wire up from where the O2 sensor is, you can find where the connector is. And you kind of have to do this blindly. Now there's a little retainer you have to pull out, like a little lock right there. Pull that out and then just grab on the tab and slide the connector out just like that. Now I'm going to use an O2 sensor socket. It's a 7 8 O2 sensor socket or 22 millimeter. And I can slide it on just like that with an extension. Now I'm going to loosen it up. Once you get it loose, you should be able to do it by hand. And take it out. Now we'll slide it in, same way the old one came out. Get it started by hand. Now tighten this up. And if you can get a torque wrench on there, you want to torque that to 31 foot-pounds. Now take the connector. We're going to go behind the power steering pump. We're going to have to plug it in to the connector. Again, you have to do it kind of blindly. Plug that in. Lock it in and then find the lock. You'll have to feel around for the lock. It's just a, like a little pin. Line it up in the connector and go through the connector just like that. And if there's a little extra slack, you want to just take a wire tie and wire tie it out of the way. You want it away from any moving parts. And just trim the excess. Now put your wheel up. Line it up. Put the lug nuts on. Now I'm going to torque the lug nuts to 111 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. I'll just go around again, double check. 